Hi, I'm Ross from Cut Collective. I make artwork under the name of Trust Me, and I'm here with Entertain Me in Cut Collective Studios. Hi, I'm Gary. I work in the Cut Collective Studio. My street name is um, Enforce One. I think I was a lot younger when I came up with that name. I was obsessed with Star Wars. Hi, Entertain Me. I'm Tosh. My role here at Cut Collective is the project manager. The artists within the collective will come to me and they'll say, oh, I've got this idea to do this, how do we get it done? And my job is to get it done. If Cut Collective was a human being, it'd, have, it'd be a monster, it'd be a mutant. It'd be a multi-headed, multi-personality thing, which would try and move in the same direction, but probably get pulled in multiple at the same time, but eventually get to where it was trying to go. Cut Collective was inspired by a, a shared interest in, and passion for making art for the street, making art intended for everyone to see. And yeah, that's where the founding members met, that's what they met through doing. An art collective can be many things, but for Cut Collective, an art collective is creating an environment where a core group of artists can can really concentrate on what they, they want to do and make it achievable. You know, trust me, he's very typographical. Uh, in Force One, he does the portrait, you know, and component, he's, he's just the massive, big scale work. Collectively, our style has really changed in a way. It's, it's been changed by the method in which we work. I guess with the Auckland Art Gallery show, that was kind of a catalyst for it. We looked to ditch all signatures of the individual's work so that we had one one style that was a collective style. So you couldn't look at that style and go, I know who did that part, that part, and that part. You couldn't identify the individual within it. And that's a really challenging process and it's something we, we persevered with. And at this point now have got to a, a place where, where it's quite successful, but it's not without its pain either. It, it requires quite a lot of sacrifice. As much as we, we're known for our stencil work, I think um, we starting to venture into um, a lot of design work and um, photography. Working um, with the street as, as a site for artwork is it's completely different. You know, art can be a really indulgent practice about self-satisfaction, but by taking it to the street and working with the street as a site, I can't help but you know have to account for the people that inhabit that space as well. I think graffiti art is more letter-based and um, it takes an immense amount of, of skill to do an outline, to fill it, and um, there's so many different styles and aesthetic out there. It's it's an amazing art form, and I admire it, you know hugely. But for me personally, I don't really just see myself as as a street artist because to me, I'm just an artist. I happen to put my art out in the open space every now and again. But um, at the same time, I enjoy having my work exhibited in a gallery or in a warehouse or whatever, you know, so you shouldn't restrict yourself. It's just one thing. My main influences are essentially the people I work with, really. I, I find it hard to relate to what people are doing overseas or things like that. I don't particularly pay a lot of attention to it. I might like their work, but it doesn't necessarily inspire me or influence me because i got no relationship with it. I think a lot of things inspire me, like music in a huge way, um, movies, a lot of art house and foreign films and a lot of things inspire me. Other artists inspires me, people that I work with inspires me and yeah. Splore 2012 is um, going to be different to other splores from our perspective. We've participated in a few of them but this year it's going to be bigger and better. We've been commissioned by Emma Underhill who's based in London and she's with Art Projects to create a portavillion structure. What it is exactly, I can't tell you because it's all, you know, we're going to do the big reveal at Splore. Essentially, we're creating a, a, a public space designed for interaction, focused around taking um, byproducts of, uh, a, you know, our consumer society and, and, and turning them into something cool. I haven't actually been using, um, you know, brush and, and painting with acrylics for a while. And this project with, with Splore enables us to try, um, you know, try our hands on this medium again and it's interesting because we, we're drawing a lot of references from old sign writings and paying homage to um, 
retro illustrations and cartoons and animations and yeah I'm, I'm loving it I'm just loving the slowness of it <laughs> it takes a while but it is quite meditative you know when you when you're trying to um, paint really slowly because with spray paint it's we're used to having that sense of you know, urgency and things happens a lot faster. Moving forward, the Cut Collective really just wants to build on that collaborative process and, and work on collaborations, not just within New Zealand, but take our New Zealand flavour and art and take it to Southeast Asia, to, I mean, anywhere basically, and bring it back, bring it back in a new way. Shout out to Entertain Me and we'll see you at Explore. <laughs>